All right, guys, that time of year, cold weather is upon us. Here we go again. Uh, Ricky, is there something you'd like to say? No, you kind of didn't sound too happy when I told you we were having the cold weather safety meeting. I'm just saying, it, it, it's probably my top five most pointless safety meetings we have. I mean, it gets cold every single year. All right, like, why do we have to have a meeting to tell people at work that it's about to get cold outside? I feel like at their adult age, they should know. Well, I mean, if, if you think that this is pointless, why don't, why don't you get up here and give the safety meeting yourself? And maybe you'll understand the importance of it. Like, go ahead, come, come on up here, come stand up here and tell us what you think the cold weather safety meeting should be about. Come on. Piece of cake, okay. Well, you can see a lot from up here. This is a good spot to stand. I see, I see now why you stand. But back on topic, boys. It's getting cold outside. I mean, I don't know if y'all are just fucking stupid or your last two brain cells are fighting over a crack rock, okay? When it gets cold outside, you have to wear warmer clothes. If you show up to work in a wife beater or a short sleeve shirt and it is 28 degrees outside, bad news, boys. It's gonna be real fucking cold for you, okay? And at some point during that day, you're probably gonna get so cold as to the point that your life may be threatened. That's called death by stupidity, not hypothermia. All right, everybody understanding so far? Well, I mean, I think we're all following along with what you're saying, Ricky, but you know, we can't control the weather, okay? And it's that beautiful time of year where it's winter in the morning, spring by lunch, and summer at three o'clock. I mean, I, I can't control that, so I don't really know what to wear, you know? I don't, I don't know what it's going to be throughout the day. Well, you know, see, I understand that you cannot control the weather, but you can control that fucking smartphone that you pay $200 a month for. You can pick that motherfucker up, scroll over to the Weather Channel, click it, and see how cold it's going to be the next day when you go to work. I mean, you can't control shit else but that and what you put on that morning before you leave the house to go to work, but really that's all you need to control. Okay? If the fucking Weather Channel says it's going to be in the 20s, you need to dress appropriately, all right? You can always take a jacket off. You can't always put a jacket on if you ain't got it. All right, are you understanding what I'm telling you? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think I'm getting it. I mean, you probably could have told me in a less smart-ass way, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we're on the same track here. Uh, and I would like to add one point to this cold weather safety meeting that the safety man does always miss for some reason. Uh, just because it is getting colder outside, does not mean you need to stop wearing deodorant, okay? You are still musty as fuck with the hoodie on. And eventually you're gonna end up taking the hoodie off in the break room at least once, and I really am getting tired of gagging when this happens. So please, personal hygiene is a year-round thing, not a hot weather thing. Can we all get on the same basis on that? We, we good with that? <laughs> 